now we will see is there any limitation for algorithm we know very well that algorithm is a powerful tool to write the programs it's very important in computer science but still there are limitations for algorithm design also we'll see what is that so before discussing all that let me discuss what is lower bound lower bound is an estimate on a minimum amount of work needed to solve a given problem for example if you want to solve any problem what is the minimum number of computations you are required to do in order to find the solution that is lower bound that means if you want to find first largest number in a set of n numbers what is the number of comparisons you are required to perform that you are, you are required to count or otherwise to sort array containing n elements or what is the number of comparisons required to search in a sorted array number of multiplications needed to multiply n by n matrices now uh, lower bound is nothing but an exact count so lower bound means we are using omega notation omega is a sum uh, we have already you have already learned asymptotic notation big o omega theta so omega is lower bound big o upper bound if the algorithm is having a similar order of growth then you will be using theta notation that already you know very well <coughs> tight lower bound uh, that means uh, algorithm is having tight lower bound if the efficiency of the algorithm is same as that of the lower bound for example when i say sorting if i say lower bound of this sorting is n log n to base 2 can you say this is tight lower bound yes because you have merge sort algorithm whose complexity is n log n to base 2 searching in a sorted array lower bound is if i say it is log n to base 2 do you say this is a tight lower bound yes because binary search in binary search uh, to find the key element in the worst case log n to base 2 comparisons is required similarly uh, element uniqueness do you have tight lower bound n log n to base 2 yes you have because uh, this can be solved in two uh, stages one if you have given n elements arrange that n elements in some order then check for the uh, uniqueness so sorting uh, if you apply merge sort efficiency is n log n to base 2 to find the uniqueness number of comparisons is n minus 1 in worst case so obviously overall efficiency of the algorithm is dependent on most inefficient part that is sorting part that is n log n to base 2 but <coughs> if i say uh, multiplying two integers n digit each do you say the lower bound is if i say lower bound is n is it tight no because we don't know such kind of algorithm wherein you can multiply two n digit integer with n number of computations similarly we don't know any algorithm wherein two n cross n matrices can be multiplied with n square computation next so i said lower bound then how do you find the lower bound for that four methods one is uh, 
ट्रिवियल लोअर पॉर्ट सेकेंड वन इज इंफॉर्मेशन थियोरेटिक आर्ग्यूमेंट्स एडवर्सरी आर्ग्यूमेंट प्रॉब्लम डिडक्शन सो ट्रिवियल लोअर बाउंड इज बेस्ड ऑन काउंटिंग द नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स दैट मस्ट बी प्रोसेस्ड इन द इनपुट इन ऑर्डर टू जनरेट द आउटपुट सो दैट इज ट्रिवियल लोअर बाउंड नेक्स्ट डिसीशन ट्री so here in decision tree uh, the internal nodes represents the comparison and leaves represents outcomes this is an example for three element insertion sort look at here the number of comparison is 1 2 3 4 5 5 similarly here finding the minimum of three numbers the minimum number of comparisons required is 3 that can be established by writing the decision tree one more example is being given just go through this then adversary arguments it's a game between the adversary and unknown algorithm the adversary has the input and the algorithm ask questions to the adversary about the input the adversary tries tries to make the algorithm work the hardest by adjusting the input it wins the game after the lower bound time if it is able to come come up with two different inputs example guessing guessing the number between 1 to n using s or no questions this i have already discussed in greedy design technique uh, so here adversary is puts the number of puts the number in a larger of two subsets generated by last question next you can get the lower bound by problem reduction suppose you have a problem q which can be reduced to another problem p for which already algorithm exists since you already know algorithm for p and its lower bound also so if you can able to solve q by applying algorithm p then the lower bound of q is approximately equal to lower bound of lower bound of problem p so this is uh, you can establish the lower bound by problem reduction next one we'll see classifying problem complexity so is the problem tractable that is is there a polynomial time algorithm that solves it probably the answer may be yes or no also so we have problem types uh that is optimization and decision problems optimization problem is to find solution that maximizes or minimizes some objective function decision problem answer yes or no question yes or no to a question many problems have decision and optimization versions for example traveling salesman problem it's a optimization problem because find hamiltonian cycle of minimum length in order to find the hamiltonian cycle you are making the decision so it's a combination of both optimization as well as decision now we'll see what is class b problem the class of decision problem that are solvable in polynomial time is polynomial of problems in where input size is n searching element uniqueness 
graph connectivity, graph acyclicity, primality testing are all the example for class B. Next, we will see NP class problem. NP means non-deterministic polynomial. Class of decision problems whose proposed solution can be ver verified in polynomial time and solvable by a solvable by a non-deterministic polynomial algorithm. This NP problem will have two stages. That is, in the first stage, it generates a solution to the problem by guessing, and in the second stage, it checks the it checks whether this solution is correct in polynomial time or not. Next one, NP complete problem. A decision problem D is NP complete if it is as hard as any problem in NP. That is, D is in NP. Every problem in NP is polynomial time reducible to D. So, example here, traveling salesman problem, knapsack, partition, graph coloring or example for NP complete problems. Limitations of algorithm power that I uh, will summarize once again. Polynomial time algorithm uh, that is nothing but sorting, searching which will have the complexity big of nk. Uh, now this cannot be, it cannot take factorial or exponential time. Some problems cannot be solved by any of the algorithm. Some problems can be solved algorithmically but not in polynomial time. Even though solutions, solution exists for a problem in polynomial time, there are no lower bounds on efficiency of the algorithm. Efficiency of the algorithm cannot be further improved. So that means problems cannot be solved in uh, solved by algorithm, some problems. But some problems can be solved but not in polynomial time. Even though solution exists in polynomial time, that is lower bound. But efficiency cannot be improved further. So, lower bound we have discussed. Lower bound can be established in four methods. Trivial, information theoretic, adversary arguments and problem reduction. This I already discussed with the slides. Just go through this. And decision tree is a binary tree that represents only the comparisons of, a, of given elements in the array while sorting or searching. In the algorithm, the control transfer, data movement and all other aspects of the algorithm are ignored in the decision tree. Internal nodes represent the comparison made between the items and leaf nodes represents the result of the algorithm. So, what is P problem and NP class problem, NP complete problems and non-deterministic algorithm will have two stages. One is non-deterministic that is guessing stage. The other one is deterministic stage. Here you are verifying the solution. Yes, is the solution string. You assume that this S is solution for problem instance I. Now in the deterministic stage, you are verifying is this S is solution for the problem I or not. This is deterministic or verification stage. So, thank you for watching the video.